Oh, hello. <laughs> what are you up to? Well, today we're going to the Portobello Road Mushroom. <laughs> what is it? The Portobello Road Market. We're gonna go antique shopping, which is one of our favorite things to do. It's especially in another, another country because it's interesting to see what other countries have. Under these lucid dreams, I'm not just a visionary. It's all making sense to me. Not a basic and no ordinary. Stay put, we gon' get higher. You're the product, I could be your buyer. Oh my god, that's a lot. Okay, we're supposed to eat steak for lunch, so we can't we get distracted right now. Are we gonna make it? I don't know! <laughs> <gasps> Look at these little lights! <gasps> that is so cute! I really love looking at little antiques like these. What's this? Uh, Lily found something that she likes. We don't know what it is, but it's very cute. But I feel like it would make really good decoration. I guess it's like a kind of like a sun catcher. A sun catcher. Like you could see, like if the light comes through it. Like a shark pig. A shark pig logo. What are you getting? <laughs> First double tea in. Oh yeah, London. honestly that's not so bad. I waited three days. Yeah, and then it's a really hot day today, so yes, we deserve it. Yeah, it's very hot. Like, all of a sudden I'm really hot. I guess so loud that all the employees turn around. Try. It's actually so good. Nice. You should try it. Which one would you like, sir? Uh, uh, just this one. Yeah, you should take me to one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Getting one. Yeah, that bag looks so good on you. <laughs> You look like a resident, a local. Wow, that was so fun. That was my favorite thing in London so far. Nice. I've never seen a market so big. We like tried so hard to conquer the entire thing. We've been here for a while. Yeah. We did not finish. Since we got hungry. Yeah, we're gonna go get some steak. Actually, you got hungry. I got hungry. I have to yeah. go eat some steak. Yeah. At Flatiron King's Cross. Mm -hmm. Steak time. Our server was actually very nice this time. I think that's kind of our first time having a nice server in London so far. Um, and then everything is very affordable, which is really cool. Beer and cocktails are very affordable and it makes it more fun because it feels like you can actually like get different things. So we, we like bought a steak each and a side each and a drink each, which is really fun. All right. Cheers. Yes. Mm. Very refreshing. The label is so cute. So cute. I wish I could just peel it off and take, stick it in my journal. <laughs> our table is full. <laughs> oh, look at our spread. The knife that they give us, it looks like this. So how would you cut your steak with this? Would you do <laughs> like a chop? Because it would feel weird to just like, yeah, it would feel weird to go like this. But to go like this feels weird for steak. Oh, it's a flat iron here. Oh. Wow. <laughs> All right, enjoy. Wow, yours is so red. Mm. Is it good? Oh, so nice. good. So these are like tokens. You can exchange it for ice cream upstairs. And they're so cute. I kind of like don't want to exchange it. Just keep this little token. It's so cute. Put the tokens in the box, please. It's almost caramel too. Is it? Mm. This time you're actually right. Yeah. Hey! So do, would you recommend Flyiron? I would 100% recommend them. That was a really good experience. So now we're on our way to see a Tottenham game. I've been a fan of EPL for my entire life. <laughs> Let's go! Normally, Danny loves like this. Right now he's 
one. <laughs> and he was so happy. <laughs> Lily bought the tickets for us? Oh my god. I owe her my life. <laughs> right, so for dinner, we're having some Sichuan food. Lily's favorite, Mapo tofu. Yeah. And egg fried rice. And it tastes extra better after Tottenham won the game. It also feels really cool out here. Yeah, and then we got like a semi outdoor seat, so yeah. it feels very nice. This morning we're on our way to Bath, England. We're gonna take a morning train from Paddington Station in London. Okay, so we've arrived to our Airbnb in Bath. Um, it was raining really hard outside, so we decided to kind of take it slow for the day and order some food. It's our first time getting Sri Lankan food. Mm. What did we get? Mm. Cheesy something. This is called Fat Sister. <laughs> it has pumpkin and curry, and then fried rice. Brisket, beef brisket, fried rice. This is a cheese curd in some kind of sauce. It's really good. Mm -hmm. And this is like a pumpkin curry. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at this place. It's so cute. It's so quaint. It feels like it's out of a storybook. There are people actually inside these boats. Yeah, there was a lady in there that was reading. We're on our way afternoon tea session that we reserved at the pump room in Bath. What was that? Lily They're about to open the gate for the canals. The swans got through. The swans are like, we're free! Wow, so those brown ones will turn white when they get older. Oh my gosh! And here's the boat coming through. Oh, wow. These guys were just waiting in front of the gate to be opened. <laughs> So what were they doing? They were just bobbing, they were like... <laughs> that last That's dude. all I saw. That was two! <laughs> Cup of tea. Deviled egg sandwich. First. No, you're supposed to go from the, down to up. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> so we noticed that some people here are dressed up for the afternoon tea. It's pretty cool. So, Danny has two cucumber sandwiches. Cucumber on the bottom. Do you have anything to say about that? I'm a cucumber king. <laughs> you wanted me to say that. <laughs> All right, so it's our first time trying caviar. This is a smoked salmon sandwich with caviar. Cheers. Yeah, we're not. We don't know what we're supposed to taste, so we can't taste it. Like it's yummy. It's definitely yummy. But if you gave me something and two different things and said, okay, now that you've had caviar, which one tastes like caviar? It's good, but not caviar y Okay, well, I'm trying to cut along the grain or along the line, but like the line goes this way and then it starts again here. This is really soft scone, it's like bouncy. It looks so cute right now. So I spread my butter on it very nicely and evenly so that each bite gets 
appropriate amount of butter. Danny, he just globs the whole thing on there. I don't think that's what you're supposed to do. All right, which one looks more appetizing? This one or this one? This one. Definitely this one. I was like, it tastes like chicken. What? It's lemon. Try it. How do you go from lemon to chicken? Next choice is a cucumber egg sandwich. Looks pretty good. Who eats cucumber egg sandwiches? Or cucumber sandwiches at all? This is a... Oh, it must be cheese. It's so good. So this tea room actually shares the building with the Roman bathhouse. And so we're actually not gonna pay the entrance fee for it because it's like 30 pounds or something like that. Because um, we could see it right here. It's really cool actually. So that's natural hot spring in Bath. Oh. You can see it's boiling down there. It's actually salty. Thank you. Wow. It's so pretty. It looks like there's a fish eye. These apartments are built in a like a big circle. It's curved inward. And like Lily said, it creates like a fish eye effect. We're right here. These are all apartments? I think so. Wow. How many are there? Today's a little bit windy, so we're gonna go have some fun. But on the way, we saw this really cool mural tunnel. I just feel like they've made really good use of this tunnel space. It's cool. Hi, Bobby. Hey. I think Lily and I both agree that we like these European style buildings rather than like modern like skyscrapers. Wow. That one kind of reminds me of Balboa Park. Oh, yeah. Wow, it is very pretty here. And it's such a nice day too, with all the clouds and the blue sky. Great British Traditions, number 76, tea time. Yeah, pinky extender that you were doing. Oh! At a 45 degree extension. I try to get things that like felt like our experience here. That felt like the thing in Bath where Javert jumped off and then our tea time and then we lost soccer and now we're at, we like walked through the building and all of a sudden we're at this food market that Danny actually wanted to check out so St. Nicholas food market Never seen a pub building that looks so European. Papaya salad, brisket so fall. Enjoy. The pho restaurant was amazing. The broth of the pho really hit mm -hmm. Lily super super hard. You too. Even though we had lots of pho restaurants in California. And this was definitely up there with it. Well, also this one put lemongrass in it. Yeah. Like they like gave it to you in the bowl. Yeah. One thing that was different is that the pho noodle was very thick. Yeah. Um, but other than that, everything was good. Oh, it was kind of interesting that they were giving out fish sauce on the side of the table for us to use, which mm -hmm. never happens in California. Yeah. And they actually had sriracha. We haven't Real seen. Sriracha. Yeah, we haven't seen sriracha but in a couple months. But they could have just been refilling the bottle. Yeah. Because of the sriracha shortage. We wouldn't know, but it was definitely a green cap and a chicken. Yes. Rooster. 
a rooster. Yeah. All right, Lily. What's your favorite color of the houses? Um, I'm debating between the. Uh, oh, I like that purple door. <laughs> I said the color of the house. Oh. And I like this color combo. The red door with the green four screen. That's a good one. It's a movement house. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, that's so cute. Oh my gosh, Moomin's making turkey. Or chicken? Or chicken. chicken? <gasps> Moomin man, snowman. That's so cute. I guess we saw a couple of Moomin like themed stores in England. I guess yeah. it's pretty popular in England. Yeah, I guess so. Maybe it's because British people drink lots of milk. What does that have to do with Moomin? Moomin doesn't put his milk? No, he's a football. Oh. Time for a quick coffee break. Uh, I love getting espressos because they're tiny. It's really strong, but I love black coffee. It takes five seconds to drink them, so it saves time. And it's one of the cheaper ones up there. You're always curious. So far, we're loving Bristol. There's lots of fall vibe around here. It's yeah. pretty windy and uh, I feel like some of the trees are already changing colors. Mm -hmm. So we're having a really good time in Bristol. Yeah, today definitely felt the most autumn-y out of all the days. Yeah. It's nice to have a little break from hot California summer. Yeah. Because in California it's still like 90s and 80s. Yeah. In Fahrenheit. <laughs> well, I really wanted a smoothie because when I travel and just keep eating out, um, they kind of feel a little greasy. So we wanted to get a smoothie, so we got a smoothie. And then this was a hot chocolate, but over ice, so it's like an iced chocolate. It was an interesting flavor. It was orange dark chocolate with oat milk. I think passion fruit and mango pineapple. Enjoy. That already just degreased me. <laughs> Yeah, it's perfect. Oh, that's really good. Super I like how it's not too thick. Yeah, and it's some, not icy. Yeah, some like people make their smoothies too thick. Or like icy. Jordan. Uh. <laughs> I know most people are familiar with hot chocolate, but Lily and I had iced chocolate in Mexico. And ever since then, we've been trying to have some iced chocolate. It's actually better than hot chocolate in our perspectives. Sometimes, it depends. Oh, it depends on the mood. Yeah. Wow, this one has orange chocolate flavor. Isn't the orange really Yeah. Super fragrant. Mm. So, I got myself a beer, a lager, and brie cheese to drink with. Yours is a Bristol beer, right? Yeah, it's, uh, I picked the beer from Bristol. It's made in Bristol. And Lily got an ice cream. Hazelnut chocolate truffle. Ah, that's cool. She just put that on my <laughs> leg. All right, we're gonna enjoy our snacks and watch some Netflix and call it a night. Mm -hmm. Bristol was really fun. Mm -hmm.